Hello, this is going to be part two of um, the um, second day top up. I topped up yesterday, I topped up today. Unfortunately, my phone was out of charge and as soon as it hit 5% charge, it ended the recording. So we're continuing the recording of the last video. I'm currently in Hell Smasher, which is where we left off. And I'm going to continue opening the last 200 or so tokens. Well, I've got 60 left. We've already opened these. I'll use tokens to get those. So yeah, we're going to continue with these. These equipments, or divine, shall I say, divine weapons, are all bound. Which means if you don't need them, oh, we've run out of space. If you don't need them, then the best thing you can do is smelt them. Otherwise, save them for purifying your um, divine weapon that you want to keep. The main ones that you'll use. So yeah, we're almost at the end of this second day top up. Just going to make a little bit more room. We've only got about 60 to go for it, so we're just going to clear off some of these. Keep a decent amount on most of them. Okay, get rid of them. Nice. Bring some of these down a little bit. There we go. Bring some of these down a little bit. There we go. Let's bring some of these down a little bit, but not too much. Just a little bit. There we go. Bring some of those down. Oops. That's it. And I'll rotate. And then we've got quite a bit of these, so we'll clear some of them off. There we go. That should be enough room. I don't want to get rid of any of the purples now. I want to make sure I keep enough of them for purifying. Yeah, everything seems okay there. We've only got about 60, so we don't want to go through too much of them. <coughs> there we go, some more blue, and some more green. And purifying, we've got a gold. That'll be used for purifying because it's bound, so I can't sell it. And some purples. Got some more purples and blue, that's good. No problem. I can't do anything with any of that stuff, but at least it's purifying stuff. It also means I've got a load of smelt that I don't need. So, because I do want to switch between two divines, this one will be the second divine I want to be switching between because this one allows you to recover your HP and it does give you a high amount of stats, you know what I mean? It keeps your stats high, so these are the stats this gives you. This one gives you a decent amount, not as much as this one for basic stats or basic attributes, but it's decent enough, you know what I mean, and obviously it recovers your HP, but it's a pain in the arse having to constantly remove the smelt from this and put it onto there all the time. If I can just switch between the two defines, it's a lot faster. So that's really what I'm setting up for with this. I know I do have quite a bit of smelt. Um, I've already leveled these up to like 23. I can probably take some of the smelts off these now anyways and bring them down to about 20 or something like that. And still keep all of my bonus attributes. What's this one? No, they're all maxed. So, yep. Yeah, I can probably bring some off and keep the bonus attributes from this. Without too much difficulty. So, I'm going to let's go on to here. Click on this divine. We're going to upgrade. And that's the amount of smells I've got. Here. And that's how much 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 I've got. Here.
magic cocktail upgrade on this one at level 47 to 48. And obviously the more you upgrade it, the more it costs. So the number go up, now it's going to cost me 418. Now it's going to cost me 438. Now it's going to cost me 468. Now it's going to cost me 480. 503. 525, 548. Now remember, while I'm going through now, while I'm telling you the price going up, have a look at how much the upgrade is that it's giving you for your attack and your defense per upgrade. So we go up. So that's at 700. 700. No, 2700. That's gone up to 2760. If I go up again, it goes up to. 2820 we go up again it'll be 2880 so yeah if you've worked it out it's going up by 60 at a time but the price is going up but the amount of stats you're getting per upgrade is exactly the same every upgrade the reason I want to point that out to you is because it's the same rules that apply with internal gems what I mean by that is you level up an internal gem from level 1 to level 80. The amount of Ajita, these stuff's called for upgrading them, that you used to do that would have got all of your gems to like level 50 or 60. Because just moving that level, uh, a gem up to level 80 will, uh, will cost you like 3 or 4 times the amount that it would have cost you to level up the rest of your gems and a lot of people have made that mistake when it comes to their internal gems where they overpower one leaving other gems low thinking that's going to give them more stats and might and actually it makes them a hell lot weaker keeps their might down their stats down because they're wasting the agita just trying to overpower one gem gem instead of spreading it evenly and that's the reason I just wanted to point that out. 670, 695, 725, 755, 785. See, the price for these upgrades are going up. Oh, God, what's that telling me? Oh, yeah, they're unbound, these ones. That means these smelt I could actually sell, but I'm not going to sell them yet. I use them on my divine. Because worst case scenario, all these smelts will eventually be transferred to a selection of different god divines that I collect over my time. So now that one's up to 74. It doesn't give me any additional might. It just means that when I want to switch over from one divine to the other, I'll be able to do it quicker once I've maxed this. It'll be a lot easier. And that's something I will start doing eventually. Especially as I become stronger. When I need my god divine less, that divine will be coming out. Okay, next on my list, I'm gone before I do. I want to get a companions. No I'm going to take a quick look at my record, to see if I've actually got the two. I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't have one of them. I don't have one of them. And I already have the other one saved. So I'm just going to discard any of the ones that I don't need. So them. Actually, before we do, I'm going to quickly go through my record. There's no place for weakness well, my collection. And take a look if I have any best companions. If I do, I'll put a quick upgrade on them so that they don't appear. This one, you see, I leveled it up to 50. Basically, because I put upgrades on them, when I auto-select for dis um, dismiss, it won't come up in the list, so I won't accidentally get rid of it. And you'll notice that there's upgrade on at least one of every companion. Just to make sure that I keep one of every one. Because having one of every companion 
gives you some bonuses. The fire in my soul can never be put out. I could upgrade that as it's got two stats and it's slightly better, but well, two skills on it slightly better. But I really don't care about that stuff because they're not companions, and I'm going to be using these low quality ones. But anyways, we're going to get to dismiss. None of those were best companions, so we're just going to get rid of the B ones first. And this will get rid of all of my B ones, except for any that I've put some upgrades on. Now if I select, you see, it won't let me auto-select it. I can manually select it and get rid of it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep those ones that I've already put upgrades on in the past. And now we're going to go through the um, A rank ones. And obviously you can get rid of S ranks and that if you wanted to. I would suggest you don't. Just keep them. You never know what upgrades, what updates are going to be added to the game where they might become useful. Obviously I can use some of those spare companions that I've got, which I have done in the past, in this to gain some additional rewards. But I actually don't bother with this stuff. Mainly because I've already saved up loads of this stuff. So I don't need to do that to get it. And what I mean by that is if I go on my companion, for example I click on one, train you'll see I've already got loads of these pills I've already got loads of stuff for upgrades so I'll get a new companion I'll be able to max it to 90 straight away and you know what I mean I've already I'm already well geared up or well filled up with material because I like to collect I don't like to get rid of stuff that I might need at a later point. Okay, so there's cloud runes and obviously there's soul tokens. So we're going to go for companions now since I've just made room for them and then we're going to go for cloud. And then we can end this video of my second day top up. And you can see today's top up and yesterday's top up on my last two videos. My last video will be of this top up part one and the video before that will be yes of this top up. and of course what we're going to get from here is nothing but good old fashioned junk and I can pretty much guarantee you Snail ain't going to give me any S or double S rank right now they gave me two yesterday. I think it was one double S and one S. Junk for me, I can't use them because I've already got them. But, you know. On this game, as you've probably worked out, you can't use two of the same companions. In other words, you can't equip two of the same companions. But you'll work that out very quickly. What? You're taking the mic? Two times in a row? Well, not in a row, there was, you know, a load of nothing, a couple of claims, a load of nothing, a couple of claims, a load of nothing. Yeah, that's three times now, thank you very much. Snail, fix your shh! I'm not gonna say it. I don't know why I say a lot of foul words. 
all the time, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Bad reality spot. Oh, we're done. And we got a load of junk up as well. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. And that was about 200 tokens, maybe 300, I don't know. Wasn't well, really paying attention. Let's go here. We got about 250. That's going to be a load of junk. No doubt about that. I got some junk in my trunk, and on this game, of course, it's junk. Yeah. There's no surprise there. He actually thinks that he's some sort of god on this game recently, just because he's got upped, and then um, he finds out that actually he isn't. And yet he still goes around acting like he thinks he can beat everyone, like he can take the whole game on on his own. <laughs> what a fool. Yeah, recently, um, I've actually screenshotted it, but um, recently, Shinobi has claimed war on my loan mate, who's basically being a dickhead, spamming in world chat, and giant avengers, uh, and be PK'd for life, or stuff like that. So today, I told, well, on world chat, I told that girl that, um, well, I'm going after your low mites. They're like, ah, I only coward would do that and all that type of stuff. No, I'm just dishing back what you're threatening to do to my low mites. And then when I trap your low mites and I kill them over and over again and I record it and yeah, we'll be uh, uploading it and having a laugh. But only for entertainment purposes only. You can't really manage it. I mean, after all, you are threatening to do the same thing to my girl members. My loan mites, who actually have absolutely nothing to do with me and your high mites fighting. So, yeah, I want to pull my loan mites into it. It's going to cost you. And it may not buffer you, but I'll make it buffer your loan mites. People who don't want to get dragged into the war, well, hey, don't be in that guild. That is rank one, known as the Chinese drags. Okay. Get that. Good, good. A lot of junk, but anyways. <sighs> and I think that's really about it. We got a few decent stuff out the top up. 
Let's have a look, see if there's anything else I could do with going through. There was none of those um, soul tokens for companions, but now I'll leave you, can't be bothered to mess around with that, just for nine. But that's about it for that lot. The only thing left to do is see if we can make some room. Let's get rid of these. Oh no, I can't bring that down to zero because you need 20. Okay, let's see if we have anything here I can bring down to zero. Oh, that we can, can't we? No, no we can't because I got no room. Let's fix that, shall we? Let's get rid of these first. I'm not going to go through all of it because um, I did all the sorting out in yesterday's video, so you already know how I sort, of, uh, sort stuff out now. wasn't there that I was about to finish off I'm sure there was where was it no it's here there we go that's that one space I need some more room in here what can we get rid of so we got a 30 it's like the lowest one or a 90 30 be the quickest if I've got enough room. I won't be able to do all of these straight off. I need four more roads, I mean, four more spaces I need. Extra one for good measure. There we go. So that's the four spaces I need. Right, I need um, this one. Go down to 15 because this one's five at a time, right? Then 10. Then goes down to five. And then it's three. There we go. That's that gone. What else? So we got at least two spaces. I'm gone. Let's see if we got any mints we can get rid of. Now they're all unbound, which means I can sell them, so I don't want to get rid of them. I don't need that. No, what am I doing? I can't create it. I've already got it. Let's get rid of it. There we go. That's better. Lovely, lovely. Somebody's challenging me to a spa, but I'm busy. Sorry, Ramble, I'm busy. I'll let him know in a bit so he doesn't think I'm ignoring him. Okay, um... Oh, where was I? Right, we're going to clear some room in here. Wait, there. Get rid of these. Get rid of those two, they're junk. Okay, that's that done. And now, this is what we're going for. We're going to go and clear out some of these. So these are junk.
actually, before I go through these, I'm going to take a look, see if there's any martial arts left here. You know, from when I may have picked some up from Material Palace. So I know this is before I did the Material Palace, so it'd be around, it'd be after these. Oops. Jinjutsu Adventures. So no, this is all going from when I started the Temper Runes. I mean the Soul Tokens for Companions. So now there's no Material well, Martial Arts pages. Really, gold quality from there, from my top ups. As it currently stands, so I think that's it. We're pretty much done. I'll claim those rewards after. Let me just check if there's anything else I can upgrade. No, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna take a look through some stuff in more detail after, but we've reached the 950 point on my basic attack build, I guess. Let's have a look. Make sure I've got the stuff on I normally use. Let's take a look. Yeah, my firm's on. So, yeah, we're doing okay with that. It also means that if I was to change some of my stuff over now, I'll probably be able to reach. Hang on, let me just check. Um, title. Would it be under achievements? Let's have a look. Probably achievements in there. Unbound, it might be somewhere along here. Basically, I'm looking for the one that tells me if you gain a new title when you reach two mil. If so, I might be able to reach two mil now. That's level rewards. Might yields. Okay. What's that? One mil. Incomplete. What is it? Oh, that's two mil. Yeah, there is a reward for it. We're actually going to try to see if I have enough to do that now. I'm not sure if I do, but we're going to find out. And that means we're going to put my highest might stuff on. Where the fist is already on, which is my highest there. we got 53. I've maxed this one finally, haven't I? So, let's have a look. Is that one stronger than my other purples? 50, 50 it is. So, we're going to put that on. It's going to be stronger than my... Oh, not stronger, but higher might. It'll be weaker. You don't want to use it in battle, I would say. I mean, this one technically is actually quite decent for damage. You know I mean, it is pretty decent. But, like, for these ones, for example, I'm about to put on for Sky and stuff like that, that's 50k might. I know it gives you more might. Its skill effect is actually not that helpful. You know, where some of these lower mites have got better skill effects, like this one uh, boosts his healing, and this one absorbs energy from your en from your enemy, stopping them from casting skills. You know what I mean, so it's more helpful and benefiting in battle than some of the others. So we got 50-50, right? So da da da. So it could be Sky or Heart's return. Unless we got anything else that's above 50, I don't think we do. No, so let's just go with Sky. 
Sky is actually fairly decent, but some people prefer other stuff. But Sky is good because you do have a uh, bonus, a, a rare chance of one hit killing an opponent. So now we've put that on. It's Romeo to 68. I'd still need a, quite a bit more might. I've already got my highest might of that on. Let's see what my total might would be in... In this one's going to be my highest, isn't it? If I remember correctly. Mm, yep, that one's my highest there for that. I can do some tempering, but it isn't going to give me 30k might. It's my duty to uphold justice. There's no place for weakness. It's on tire. That's right. The world is ever changing. There is this one's at 34. The world is ever changing. No, that's my highest might currently equipped it so far. Which ain't bad. That means because you it used to be when you was um switching between your stuff that there'd be a big difference between your best stuff and your highest might stuff because your high your best stuff used to be fairly weak or for me it was because it took me ages to boost them but now i've basically closed the gap between most of them i mean the strongest martial arts that i've got so i'm over at 58 using my best stuff I mean, 15, uh, 9, 1,950,000 in my best stuff, and in my highest might stuff, it's 1,969,000. So, yeah, I need basically about 31k to reach the target that I want. I'm just going to go and put all this stuff back to what I wanted on. I'll throw that on there. Back to my internals. Going to leave that off for a bit. I might actually use that scored internal from every now and again. When I want some, when I want to do some additional damage, because it is okay. For now, we'll put that on and firm on here. There we go. That's that done. My companion's already set it's up, isn't it? Yeah. Well, justice. could do with changing the lineup of it, but I'll leave them on as it is. And that's about it, really. So now we're just in my best stuff, 50k short of the 2 mil might. So yep, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and yeah, you saw the types of rewards you get for top-ups and the tokens and yeah, all that rubbish. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, bye-bye for now.